When thinking about parametric modeling, often complex structures are the first thing to come up in our mind. And honestly, this is a justified thought. But using parametric modeling should not be a subject for complex structures only. In this video, I would like to introduce you to the principles of parametric modeling in AutoCAD and Sophistic. So let's get straight into it. The concept behind the parametric modeling in AutoCAD and Sophistic is straightforward. It is mainly built on a geometric axis as a backbone. So the first element we need is the geometric axis or the road alignment. The preferred option to create the geometric axis is using road alignment parameters such as straight lines, arcs or transition curves. This can be done in the graphical alignment editor. But it is also possible to transfer common AutoCAD elements such as lines, polylines and splines to an axis or even importing alignments from other projects. As the alignment might not precisely represent the bridge length or indicates the start point and end point of it, the next step is to specify locations of relevance to the structure. These placements can represent supports, construction joints or any other essential element of the bridge structure. Assigning substructure elements to the placements and therefore to the axis is common practice to build a full bridge project in one single model. One advantage, the low takedown of the traffic loads to the foundation is precisely considered. Even including a soil structure interaction is possible. Having the axis and the placements set, we can look into the third step, the cross-section definition and variables. Here is where the Sophistic cross-section editor for AutoCAD comes in. Besides the ability to create any cross-section geometry using common AutoCAD elements, the editor also comes with parametric dependencies. These dependencies can be controlled by variables which are referenced to the geometric axis and its stations. The interaction between the axis and variable drives the cross-section interpolation, which creates the required cross-section along the axis to get the final model. We're only one click away from completing the parametric model. Creating the structural elements to the geometric axis is the last step to take. Basically, the cross-section gets attached to the axis. We have now an active link between the axis and the cross-section, and any modification to the axis also applies to the structural element. This is the last step of parametric modeling of bridge structures with Sophistic in AutoCAD. But often bridges require post-tensioning. So how does the tendon creation fit into the parametric modeling? We learned so far that the geometric axis is the backbone of the entire parametric modeling process. And so it is for the definition of the tendon geometry. By selecting the geometric axis as a reference, the graphical tendon editor supports you to create and modify tendon profiles. The tendon editor comes with lots of options to define the tendon profile. For instance, you can add and remove control points to the duct geometry, set properties to the tendon such as checking procedure, the direction of stressing and construction stages. After completing the input in the tendon editor, the tendon geometry gets generated in your model. Similar to the structural elements, the tendon geometry is now linked to the axis. Any changes to the axis also affect the tendon profile. Now let's wrap things up. The four significant steps of parametric modeling in Sophistic and AutoCAD are to define the geometric axis or road alignment, to specify placements which represent the relevant points of the structure along the axis, such as supports, start point and end point, to create the cross-section, which can be either a standard or constant cross-section, or a user-defined cross-section with variables. And finally, the creation of the structural elements linked to the axis. And as for bridges, we often deal with post-tensioning, tendon profiles can be attached to the axis too. And very important to remember, any modification on the geometric axis will also affect all elements linked to it.